The Dyer story began in 1863 with the vision and initiative of one man, Paul Dyer. Initially, the group starts out as a shipping company with some of the biggest names in the French industry as its customers. In the 1880s, the ship owner was entrusted with transporting a cargo of rails to America. The company assigned their Herald of Morning Clipper to complete the job. Dyer was thrust onto the international stage as its ship sailed from Marseille to San Francisco in just 100 days, a record at the time. 1921, a change of era and a change of direction. One of Paul Dyer's sons opens up the company even more widely to the rest of the world. Based in Paris, he sets up a charter division and negotiates the transportation of the first two major pipelines to the Near East. Dyer becomes a leading figure in the energy sector. At the turn of the 1930s, progress moves swiftly onward. The group pursues its development against the backdrop of the whistle of the locomotive train. Dyer becomes an expert in the transportation of rail locomotives, carriages, and coaches. Forty years later, a new challenge faces Dyer. In the midst of the oil crisis, the group is involved in the construction of the French nuclear program. Three cranes with a lifting capacity of 550 tons were used over two years at each power plant site. In the 1980s, industrial companies begin to outsource their logistics. Dyer plays its part in this development to become a global partner to a number of industrial and consumer goods companies. The group excels in supplying plants and distributing products. Already a partner to Airbus for the transportation of aircraft sections, the group is chosen in 1989 to transport the front door of the Beluga and its support. For this trip from England to Toulouse, Dyer mapped out a route which is still in use for A380 convoys today. The voyage continues with the Dyer Bay project, as part of which Dyer provided support to a consortium of French industrial companies led by EDF and Areva in constructing the first nuclear power plant in China. Dyer is entrusted with supplying certain components and lifting equipment to the site. The fall of the Berlin Wall leads to an opening up of relations with Eastern European countries. In 1994, Dyer wins the Technip contract for the Omst refinery in Siberia routing shipments via the Arctic Seas and the Op River, which remain icebound for 10 months of the year, Dyer transports 11,000 cubic meters of industrial equipment to the construction site. 1999 sees the acquisition of L'Hôtelier Montrichard, making Dyer the industrial group it is today. Since 1941, L'Hôtelier Montrichard has established a historical reputation as a partner to industrial companies in the aerospace and defense sector, and does so first and foremost. From 1964, they start to produce missile containers and little by little expand their offer with increasingly sophisticated containers adapted to major defense programs. At the beginning of the 1970s, L'Hôtelier Montrichard develops a new skill set, the dismantling, preparation and packaging of helicopters. This is a service which is still provided to Eurocopter to this day. Five years later, the company expands its activities further by manufacturing the first composite parts for the aerospace industry. This proves to be an essential choice for its future growth. Now let us go back to Dyer, which acquires nuclear cargo service in 2007. This partnership makes the group one of the global leaders in nuclear material transportation solutions. The history of NCS began with Deutsche Bahn. In 1984, the German rail network sets up a unit in Frankfurt specializing in the transportation of radioactive materials. Ten years later, its activities are expanded to include storage. At the initiative of NCS, Transport Logistics International is established in the USA in 1988, offering radioactive material transportation services. Another important partner in Dyer's history is Sokata, with the acquisition of this company in 2009, the group became an aircraft manufacturer and consolidated its position as a tier one supplier to the aerospace industry. Socata can trace its origins back to Aeroplan Moran Saunier, founded in Puteaux, France in 1911. In 1913, the oldest aircraft manufacturer in the world, which is still operational today, enabled Roland Garros to complete the first ever crossing of the Mediterranean by air. After this initial masterstroke, Moran Saunier continued to maintain a reputation for innovation. In 1953, at that time based in Tarbes, they invented a new role, that of aerostructure manufacturer, producing the first 100 airframes and all the wings for the Fuga Magister. The following year, the company turned its attention to business aircraft with the MS-760 Paris. 
The Goddess of the Skies, as it came to be known, was the first business aircraft in the world. It flies at speeds of 630 kilometers per hour and brings happiness to a whole series of prestigious owners. 2009 is a year of fundamental importance. The Fonds Stratégique d'Investissement, the French Strategic Investment Fund, and Aerofund increased Dayos capital to speed up its development. The Dayos family thus continues to work with a long-term investor to pursue the great entrepreneurial adventure further. In 2011, with the acquisition of Vanatom and Verdelet, Dayer speeds up its development in the nuclear sector. Extending its expertise to the heart of nuclear power plants, the group becomes a leading partner to major nuclear operators. Vanatom and Verdelet are specialists in the provision of key equipment for nuclear and energy programs. Since the 1980s, Vanatom has been equipping nuclear aircraft carriers and submarines. Over the years, the company has provided support for some of the biggest nuclear programs in the world. 150 years of history and performance, a track record of success which Dyer can put down to its unique business model, an astute combination of industrial expertise and services know-how. The group continues to develop, placing the emphasis on what it knows how to do best, industrial manufacturing and design and integrated industrial support. Its commercial activities are organized into three strategic areas of expertise, aerospace and defense, nuclear and energy, and the capital goods industries. On the strength of its engineering expertise and modern manufacturing facilities into which it continues to channel significant investment, Dyer can rightfully claim to be an expert in the use of composite and metal materials as well as hybrid structures. As an aircraft manufacturer, Dyer operates its own final assembly line. It manufactures the TBM 850, the fastest single-engine turboprop business aircraft in the world at this facility. Whether in the aerospace, defense, or nuclear industries, Dyer designs and manufactures aerostructures, systems, and key equipment for major key accounts. Its innovative approach means it has the capacity to work on large programs of global scale, both now and long into the future. As a company that always wants to remain at the cutting edge, Dyer has recently developed its offer of integrated industrial support. This innovative concept offers a turnkey solution combining its industrial and services know-how. A combination of engineering, industrial services, logistics, and transport activities which work in step with customers' existing manufacturing systems. This cross-functional approach makes it possible to optimize the life cycle of their programs and their industrial performance. On the strength of its history, its accomplishments and expertise, Daya can truly be said to be a tier one supplier to high technology industries. We've lived uh, 150 years of an exceptional adventure. An adventure which took, which took us from the heavy industries in the 19th century to high technologies industries in the 21st century. An adventure which has been made possible by the engagement of our suppliers, our customers, are our shareholders, and among themselves, are the Daher family, which has been our main shareholder for 150 years. We are now one of the best in class of the uh, tier one suppliers for the high technologies industries. And with some hope, and with the, your help and your engagement, we will still be in 150 years from now, one of the excellent suppliers to the high technologies industries.